Okay, let's do a little, some uh, back exercises. And so, what we want to emphasize is keeping the spine as straight as possible before you go into the stretch. Uh, the first part of the exercise would be the forward bend. We're going to keep it simple. Uh, again, check your posture, tuck your chin in, uh, breathing low and deep. And so we're just going to be bringing the hands up and we're going to stretch out at this point. We're going to elongate the spine as much as possible. And then we're going to arch back slightly. And the emphasis here is elongating the spine rather than bending or stretching so much. So we're controlling gravity at this point. So we're going to uh, stretch the spine up and then we're going to arch back slightly. Now here, uh, so the emphasis is on controlling gravity and lifting and opening up the frontal uh, spinal column as you go back. And then, and then reaching forward, and as you come forward, you want to keep your spine straight as possible, tuck your chin in, push your head up, and then reach as far as you can. And then when you get to the point where you can no longer reach and keep your back straight, then gently drop your hands down to the sides and then give it another pull and then elongate the spine again, keeping the spine straight as possible, stretching this way. And then the last part of the exercise is uh, actually just giving in to gravity and allowing the head to drop down. And so from here, basically, you want to have a natural stretch going on. There's no uh, pulling here at all. It's just a natural stretch. And then as you come up, uh, you want to lift your head up and then again emphasizing elongating the spine. And then coming up and lifting and opening up the front of the vertebrae again, controlling gravity again, and then arching back slightly. And again, lifting and stretching up again, and then reaching forward, and then forward stretching. And so you tuck your chin in and push the top of your head, and stretch with the top of your head. And when you can no longer stretch forward, then just relax the hands and come down, and then just allow the gravity to let your body drop into the stretch. And then after you drop into the stretch for a minute or so, come back up, lifting the head up, elongating the spine up again as you come up, and then, and then bring your hands back and then take, take a nice deep breath, inhale, and then jackknife the hips up, and push the hips up, tuck the chin in, elongate the spine, nice stretch here. Hold for as long as you can. And then finally relax and come down. And so now what we're going to do is the opposite. The opposite of that exercise. Uh, remember the emphasis here is to keep the spine straight, controlling gravity. So this is called the Cobra exercise. And there's a couple ways to do it. But basically it's like this. You start here with the fingers pointing inward by the shoulder, pointing inward toward the chest. The forehead is flat on the ground. Uh, so I like to touch the big toes together here, and then we're coming up, lifting the forehead, nose, chin up, vertebrae at a time. Uh, now here, you want to come up as far as you can without using your hands. So you come up as far as you can without using your hands, and then when you can't come up any further, then you can uh, go back down vertebrae time. So you go back down and then chin, nose, and forehead. So we're coming up vertebrae at time, coming up as far as you can, and then going back down vertebrae at time. Forehead, nose, chin down. And this is a good place to practice the deep belly breathing. You can feel the breath in the uh, lower abdomen as you push it to the floor. Okay, let's try this again. So, ideally, you'd want to come up uh, as far, very far, without the hands. 
But we're going to add a sort of advanced stretch here, uh, the way I see it. And uh, once again, you're coming up vertebrae in time. And then when you can no longer come up any further, then you want to push yourself up with your hands gently. This is a nice stretch for the back. It leaves a lot of stress in the lower back area. And then, nice arch in the back. And look up as you stretch. Come as far as you can. Hold as long as you can for as long as it is comfortable. And then after you've held for a while, simply coming back down, vertebrae at the time. And then chin of the forehead. And so those are some powerful exercises to help relieve the stress in the lower back and also help to strengthen uh, the back muscles and the spinal muscles as well. Remember, you always want to, after you've, after you've done the exercise, relax for as long as you've done the exercise. So if you've done the exercises for 10 minutes, you want to relax and just feel the increased circulation and be aware of what's going on in your body for that same amount of time. Um, so, Ideally, you want to have the balance. So, go for balance in your exercise, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.